Tonight, Microsoft warning that China is using artificial intelligence to mimic American voters and stoke division ahead of the election, creating images like this one of the Statue of Liberty, warning democracy and freedom is being thrown away, and real Americans are reposting it. It comes as China is increasingly buying up more and more of America's farmland, raising concerns about what the Communist Party plans to do. David Culver has this story that you will see first out front. Just a couple of hours into our drive from Seattle, we start to see the markings of American pride, stars and stripes lining the highways of rural Washington state. This is part of the agricultural backbone that keeps us fed. But as we look closer here, we find what might be for America is, in some cases, not American. This is something we've kind of woken up to and thought we should do something. Dan Newhouse splits his time between Sunnyside, Washington, working as a hops farmer, and the other Washington, where he serves on Congress's recently created select committee on the CCP. I think a lot of folks, congressmen, would look at where we are and say, how does that relate to the committee that focuses on the Chinese Communist Party? Uh, I think there's a huge connection. We've seen a tremendous increase in the number of acres, for instance, being purchased by Chinese businesses. The increase in the investments has grown by a factor of 10 over the last decade. A sharp rise, he worries, will continue. But the one thing that people need to understand is China's not an ally. They're an adversary. Lawmakers on both sides fear that with control of U.S. farmland, China could manipulate U.S. food supply, surveil sensitive military sites, or even steal valuable intellectual property. China's foreign ministry says the U.S. is playing off of unwarranted national security fears to discriminate. We drive about an hour from Sunnyside to see how close the business ties to China are. You're about to see the sign. It's called Syngenta. This is a seed and pesticides manufacturer. It's one of the largest in the world. And let me show you something else as you look from the outside here. Nothing about this suggests that it's foreign owned. In fact, you can even see, look right there. It's an American flag that's flying. Syngenta is headquartered in Switzerland, but owned by ChemChina, which is 100% Chinese state controlled and designated last year by the Defense Department as a military company. Its CEO, a former government official and member of the Chinese Communist Party. Syngenta is operating here legally, and neither it nor its parent company have been accused of wrongdoing. In a statement to CNN, they stressed that Syngenta has approximately 4,400 U.S. employees in 43 states, and all its activities are conducted on fields and farms in the U.S. to benefit American farmers. Newhouse is sponsoring a House bill that would heavily vet and restrict future investment from Chinese entities. A similar effort passed the Senate in July, and more than two dozen states have either passed or proposed their own restrictions on foreign ownership of land. They were all family-owned. Now there's no families left. The restrictions on certain foreign investment could mean fewer options for family farms facing increased financial pressures and needing to sell. Would you be hesitant in selling to any sort of foreign group that's coming in, even if it was, say, a Chinese-owned company? I wouldn't like it, but money's money. If they're the only check that you got, what are you going to do? The legislation could also have wider consequences. One of the biggest counter-arguments is, oh, that's going to lead to xenophobia, right? That's going to create a prejudice. To that, you say... I think we can make that distinction between the Chinese people and the Chinese Communist Party. And we're not looking at uh, trying to create an anti-Chinese uh, sediment in our country. We're just trying to be smart about how we respond to the Communist Chinese. I mean, this is incredible. So that you're driving, by, I mean, Sangenta is one of the most important seed um, chemical it's companies massive, yeah. in, in the world. Yeah. Um, and never mind that it's Swiss headquartered, right? right? You, you showed those flags, the American flag, and Sangenta, you wouldn't even know it was Swiss headquartered, right. but 100% owned by a Chinese state-owned company that's designated by the United States as a military company? And, and, the, and it's just fine? And, and totally linked to the CCP, yeah. And, and they're operating here legally. They've done nothing wrong. And I think that's part of the concern from lawmakers is, is if they're able to do that and they're able to continue un, un, you know, really unvetted with future investments, how long does that pursue? And so if you look at the total number, though, Aaron, it's quite small when we're talking about 
how much of the foreign owned land in this country is controlled by Chinese businesses or Chinese nationals. It's less than 1%, but it's in recent years, the trajectory has increased significantly. And that's the worry going forward. And that's why you see what is very rare in Washington, bipartisan support. You got both sides who are on, right. on board. Well, and as that farmer said to you, he doesn't, wouldn't want to sell to China, but money is money. Ultimately, that, that's the reality. Survivability. Yeah. Right. All right, incredible. And David, thank you thank very you. much.